very excited to welcome you to another spellbinding edition of Sports on the Wheels on your one and only station, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Come on, we start with our Nations Cup special, the best of African football. Can you believe it? Equatorial Guinea smashed. Yes, they smashed the elephants of Côte d'Ivoire. Four goals to nothing in front of their thousands of fans in Abidjan. And of course, the good news for us is that the Super Eagles are the knockout round of the 2023 African. What a tough game against the White Dogs of Equatorial. Yes, yeah, the White Dogs of Guinea-Bissau. But the Super Eagles got the job done. And we are in the second round of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. The midfield dynamo. Akiyemi Fagbalagumi, do you welcome to this action-packed edition of your favorite sports show on radio. Let's take a breather. When we return, we take you straight away to Côte d'Ivoire, talking about all the actions happening at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. So you mean I can fly from Lagos mm -hmm. to Paris mm -hmm. to London mm -hmm. and fly back to Lagos? Mm -hmm. Oh, in one promo? Mm -hmm. And if I don't want that, I can win a whole house? Now you're getting the gist. Reach out 50,000 naira or more within a month and you could be among the 100 winners of business class tickets from Lagos to Paris to London. If you recharge 100,000 Naira or more within a month, you could be one of the many winners of a premium bungalow in Nigeria. The more you recharge, the more you stand to win. T's and C's apply. Unlimited. Tough game, difficult game against the Jutus of Guinea-Bissau. But the Super Eagles have qualified for the second round. Of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, Opa Sagalti smashed a terrific shot past his own goalkeeper to end the Super Eagles 1-0 victory over hard fighting Jutus of Guinea-Bissau. The White Dogs gave the Super Eagles a good run for their money to stomp to stomp pundits who had predicted a stroll in the park for Nigeria against them. Guinea-Bissau fought tooth and nail. To old Victor Simon led Super Eagles attack with their goalkeeper Jonas Mendes frustrating every goal scoring opportunities by the Super Eagles. But of course, all is well that ends well. The Super Eagles are in the second round of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. Nigeria won. Guinea Bissau, zero. All right, let's talk about the big one tonight. Talking about Equatorial Guinea, the surprise team so far of this tournament, beating the host nation, the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire. One, two, three, four goals to nothing. Yes, Equatorial Guinea captain Emilio Sui is by miles the best player right now at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. The talismanic captain was the hero for his country again as he led them to a stunning 4-0 victory over the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire right in front of their vociferous fans. Usue, who scored the first hat trick in the Africa Cup of Nations since 2008 in the 4-2 demolition of Guinea-Bissau was at his predatory best again tonight as he grabbed a brace against the elephants of Côte d'Ivoire. Cup of you want to say for Emilia Nsui, the man who has taken AFCON 2023 by storm, the captain of Equatorial Guinea. Yes, is the best of African football right here. On Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, we take you straight away to the camp of the Pharaohs. And it's all about Mo Salah right now. Jürgen Klopp has revealed that Mo Salah will be treated by Liverpool doctors. After getting injured, playing for Egypt, Salah limped up in the first half of the Pharaohs 2-2 draw with Ghana. And the Egypt FA confirmed the 31-year-old that suffered a strain in his posterior muscle. I'm not a medic. I'm not a doctor. I would say if Egypt qualifies for the final, then probably, yes, he could go back. The Egyptian FA announces that Mohamed Salah will travel to England to receive treatment following the match between Egypt and Cape Verde with the hope that he will join the Egyptian national team if it qualifies 
for the semi-finals. And let's quickly tell you that the Guinness Football Federation have called for calm. After six years, fans died because they were celebrating the victory of Guinea over Gambia. Yes, Guinea beat Gambia 1-0 in Cote d'Ivoire in their second group game. And that sparked white scenes back in their homeland as fans took to the roads of capital, Conakry, to celebrate in cars and motorbikes. It has now sadly been announced that six people lost their lives during the white party scenes. Now the Guinean FA, Fegui Food, has pleaded with fans, with fans for calmness. Let's take another breather. More thrills still coming your way on Sports on the Wheels. We are all gathered here today to witness the joining of all 32 of you in blissful matrimony to blow my fi and router. Do you, Wi-Fi enabled devices, take this Glow MyFi and Router as your lawful data plug? Yes, we do. Do you, Glow MyFi and Router, promise to be there in good times and in Sapa? Yes, we do. Now you may stay connected. Enjoy a connected life with Glow MyFi and Router. Get 60 gigabytes data bonus when you buy a Glow MyFi and 180 gigabytes data bonus when you buy a Glow Router. And connect up to 32 Wi-Fi enabled devices. Available at Glow World Shops nationwide. Glow Unlimited. All right, if you just joined us, it's still the best of African football, our Nations Cup special, right here. On your one and only station, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, the Super Eagles are into the second round of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. And the biggest news tonight is that... Uh, Equatoria Bingini humiliated. Yes, they humiliated the embarrassed uh, Cote d'Ivoire. One, two, three, four goals. And right now, the hope of Cote d'Ivoire playing in the next trend of the 2023 Akon is precariously hanging in the balance. What a match that was for Equatoria Guinea beating Cote d'Ivoire. Four goals to nothing. And quickly, let's give you some other news. We can tell you that Bournemouth boss and Johnny Raul has revealed it to take an unnatural beat for the Cherries to let go of Dominic Solanka this month. A whole host of clubs have been linked with a forward who has netted two Premier, two Premier League goals this season for the Cherries. And Newcastle United are demanding around 11 to 12 million pounds for the sale of Ben Munich target Korean Trippier. Newcastle's price is for a permanent deal this month for an obligatory fee following an initial loan move. But Bayern do not want to spend too much on the England international. We can tell you that Manchester United have turned down an attempt from Inter Milan to land Aaron Juan Bissaka. The Italian giants have offered Dutch wing back Denzel Dumfries in a short swap deal. But United are not interested. At last break on the show before we wrap it up tonight. So you mean I can fly from Lagos mm -hmm. to Paris mm -hmm. to London mm -hmm. and fly back to Lagos mm -hmm. all in one promo? Mm -hmm. And if I don't want that, I can win a whole house? Now you're getting the gist. Recharge 50,000 Naira or more within a month and you could be among the 100 winners of business class tickets from Lagos to Paris to London. If you recharge 100,000 Naira or more within a month, you could be one of the many winners of a premium bungalow in Nigeria. The more you recharge, the more you stand to win. T's and C's apply. Unlimited. And as we wrap it up tonight from the UFC and from the Australian of Drew Crew to Plessy, I've talked up the idea of a huge showdown with Israel at this year at UFC 300 in April. The South African became the first man from his country to win a UFC title this weekend, edging out Sean Strickland by split decision in Toronto. And attention quickly turned to what might be next for Duplessis, who remains undefeated since joining the UFC and he wants to step out against the last style bender and the last one from the Australian Open, where second seed Carlos Alcala said he played almost perfectly in his fourth round win over. Said Mioma Kemaknovich, 
at the Australian Open, the two-time Grand Slam champion won 646 love to reach the group finals for the first time at Melbourne Park. I'm feeling better and better every day, said Alcaraz, who would play six seed. Alexander Sabre. Next. And that's it tonight. Another finger licking edition of your favorite sports show on radio with the midfield dynamo. Aki Yemi Fagolagu. Massive thank you to Aken. By the grace of God, same time, same station tomorrow. We shall be back with another blockbuster. Have a fantastic night. And God bless you richly.